in the land of flickering screens and timeless tales, nestled within the corners of nostalgia, lies a quaint yet uproarious universe known as Mama's Family. Close your eyes for a moment and allow the gentle hum of reminiscence to whisk you away to that very first encounter. Do you recall the way your laughter danced freely through the room as the peculiar yet lovable Harper family took center stage in your living room? Perhaps it was the misadventures of the fiery and unapologetically sassy Mama, or the endearing antics of Vint, Naomi, and the rest of the rambunctious crew that etched an indelible mark upon your heart. Picture it, a time when the world seemed simpler, yet just as delightfully chaotic. The year was 1983, and a quirky little sitcom found its way into the hearts of viewers, beckoning them to revel in its offbeat charm. Mama's sharp wit and sharper retorts left an imprint, and who could forget the iconic catchphrases that seemed to effortlessly weave their way into everyday conversation. As the laughter flowed like a comforting river, each episode was a reminder that amidst life's eccentricities, genuine connections and heartfelt moments shine brightest. Now, let's journey beyond the screen and delve into the treasure trove of intriguing tidbits about the show. From the curious origins of its inception to the behind-the-scenes stories that infused the Harper household with life, Prepare to uncover a tapestry woven with anecdotes and surprises. Explore the interplay between art and reality as the characters evolved and intertwined with the talented actors who breathed life into them. From unexpected plot twists to the show's lasting impact on pop culture, there's more than meets the eye within this classic gem. So, dear traveler through time and laughter, let us embark on a voyage of discovery. As we unearth the lesser-known facets of Mama's family, be prepared to raise an eyebrow, chuckle in amazement, and connect the dots that paint a fuller picture of this iconic series. It's time to unravel the threads of trivia and trivia, all while basking in the warm glow of cherished memories. Mama's Family is a television series that premiered in 1983, originating from a sketch on The Carol Burnett Show. The show centered around the quirky Harper family, led by Thelma Harper, portrayed by Vicki Lawrence. The series showcased the dysfunctional yet endearing dynamics of the Harper clan, living in suburban chaos. Iconic characters like Mama, her often exasperated daughter Vint, his ditzy wife Naomi, and sharp-tongued Aunt Fran added depth and humor to the narrative. The show's unique style blended sitcom elements with slapstick comedy, emphasizing character-driven humor over traditional plot lines. Mama's family made a notable impact on popular culture, exemplifying the 1980s sitcom landscape. Its portrayal of a relatable yet offbeat family resonated with audiences, highlighting the universal struggles of family life with a comedic twist. The show's catchphrases and memorable one-liners became ingrained in pop culture, cementing its legacy. Transitioning to random facts, Vicki Lawrence's portrayal of Mama originated from a skit on The Carol Burnett Show and quickly became a fan favorite. The series underwent a network change, transitioning from NBC to syndication, which contributed to its lasting success. Rue McClanahan, famous for her role in The Golden Girls, joined the cast in later seasons as Mama's sister Fran. The show's setting, The Harper Residence, showcased an eclectic mix of clutter, and kitsch, reflecting the family's eccentricity. Despite mixed critical reviews, Mama's family maintained a devoted fan base, leading to multiple DVD releases and reruns. In the heart of 1983, television audiences were captivated by the endearing antics of Mama's family, a sitcom that found humor in the everyday trials and tribulations of the Harper family. One of the show's defining moments came with the departure of Vicki Lawrence, a decision that marked the end of the series. Lawrence's choice to bid farewell to her beloved character Thelma Harper was a pivotal factor in the show's conclusion. Thelma's daughter, Naomi, played a role that stood out amidst the ensemble cast. Her journey down the aisle was an intriguing narrative thread, as she navigated the complexities of matrimony not once, not twice, but thrice. From Tommy Ray to Leonard Oates and finally to Vinton, Naomi's romantic escapades provided both comedic relief and a reflection of the evolving dynamics within the Harper household. In the realm of community involvement, Thelma and her quirky neighbor Iola found themselves as proud members of the Church Ladies League. This ecclesiastical affiliation added a layer of social engagement to the show, offering a window into the sometimes amusing, sometimes poignant interactions of a small-town congregation. 
Mama's family etched itself into television history as a memorable sitcom, weaving together relatable family dynamics and eccentric characters. Vicki Lawrence's departure, Naomi's marital ventures, and the church ladies' league's exploits all contributed to the show's unique charm. As the curtain closed on the series, audiences were left with a bittersweet farewell to the Harpers and their delightful misadventures. And there you have it, a snapshot of the multifaceted charm that was Mama's Family, a show that left an indelible mark on the landscape of television comedy. Comedy, comedy, comedy. Vicki Lawrence's iconic portrayal of Mama in the 1983 TV series Mama's Family remains etched in the minds of viewers. Surprisingly, despite the character's age of 60-something, Lawrence herself embarked on this role at the mere age of 33. This unusual age dissonance added depth and humor to the show, as Lawrence adeptly channeled the older persona of Thelma Harper. Amidst the tales of familial quirks, another enigmatic character emerged, Thelma's late husband, Carl. This elusive figure rarely emerged from the confines of the bathroom in flashbacks, and when he did, his voice was brought to life by co-creator Dick Clare on one occasion, while Ken Berry embodied him on another. The mystique surrounding Carl lent an air of intrigue to the series, leaving viewers curious about the man behind the bathroom door. Notably, the show's theme song, Bless My Happy Home, held a unique touch. Vicki Lawrence herself penned its lyrics, showcasing her multifaceted talents. However, the producers ultimately opted for an instrumental rendition during the credits. Lawrence's artistic involvement in shaping the show extended beyond her on-screen persona, leaving an indelible mark on the series. Mama's family proved a convergence of creative choices and unforeseen elements that shaped its distinct character. Vicki Lawrence's age-defying performance, the enigmatic presence of Thelma's husband, and the musical nuances of the theme song all contributed to the show's enduring legacy. The narrative of Mama's family unfolded beyond the TV screen, etching itself into pop culture with its distinctive storytelling and memorable characters. The layers of intrigue and creativity that emerged from the series continue to resonate, offering viewers a glimpse into a world where age is but a number and humor knows no bounds. Unveiling Mama's family, the quirky shift in season three in the annals of television history, few shows have undergone a transformation as intriguing as the 1983 TV series Mama's Family. As its third season dawned, avid viewers were met with an unexpected twist, the departure of beloved characters Ed and Eunice Higgins. However, the show's ingenious writers artfully navigated this transition, forever altering the dynamics of the Harper household. The departure of Ed and Eunice Higgins, portrayed by Ken Berry and Vicki Lawrence respectively, was a seismic shift in the show's landscape. With their exit, the season cast was reconfigured, leaving fans to ponder the fate of their favorite characters. Yet, this alteration brought forth a masterful stroke of storytelling that showcased the creative prowess of the show's creators. The explanation for the Higgins' absence was both poignant and ingenious. Scripted as a relocation to the sunny shores of Florida, Ed and Eunice embarked on a new chapter of their lives, leaving their son Bubba under the guardianship of the indomitable Thelma Harper. This maneuver injected a fresh dose of comedic tension, allowing the quirky interactions between characters to evolve in unexpected and uproarious ways. Beyond the narrative acrobatics, Mama's family also etched its mark in television history with its iconic opening and closing credits. The picturesque house that served as the backdrop for these memorable sequences was nestled in the heart of South Pasadena, California. This real-life abode lent an authentic charm to the show, anchoring its zany escapades in a relatable domestic setting. As the series unfolded, Vicki Lawrence and Ken Berry remained steadfast, their performances a steady anchor through the show's evolution. In an impressive feat, they appeared in all 130 episodes, deftly navigating the comedic highs and poignant lows of the Harper family saga. Joining the fray in the third season, Alan Kaser, who portrayed the character Bubba, seamlessly integrated into the ensemble, becoming a fixture in all 95 syndicated episodes. Mama's family stands as a testament to the art of reinvention, proving that a strategic pivot can breathe new life into a beloved series. The departure of Ed and Eunice Higgins not only propelled the show into uncharted comedic territory, 
but also showcased the resilience and creativity of its creators. With its endearing characters and unforgettable moments, this 1983 TV series continues to charm audiences, cementing its place in the pantheon of television classics. Vision classics. Vision cl in the annals of television history, few shows have left as puzzling a narrative gap as the 1983 sitcom Mama's Family. A quirk of the show's evolution came in 1986 when Vinton's teenage offspring, Buzz and Sonya, seemingly vanished without a trace, leaving viewers confounded by their unexplained absence. The departure of these characters, who had been fixtures on the show since 1983, raised more questions than answers, as the series continued without addressing their whereabouts. Curiously, the show's scriptwriters chose to add a surreal twist in the 1990 season when Vinton, played by Ken Barry, expressed his desire to welcome another child into the fold. A perplexing lapse of continuity emerged when Vinton declared his intention to name the potential boy Vinton Jr., inadvertently overlooking that Buzz, his estranged son, bore the very same name. Diving deeper into the enigma, it's worth noting that Mama's family had its own curious real-life age paradoxes. Dorothy Lyman, the actress portraying Vinton's love interest, Naomi, defied conventional casting conventions by being two years older than both Vicki Lawrence and Beverly Archer, who portrayed the titular mama and her daughter Iola, respectively. This intriguing age dynamic added an extra layer of complexity to the show's character dynamics. While Mama's family had its fair share of head-scratching moments, one consistent element was the introduction of Bubba in the third season. A young man with a troubled past, Bubba found himself under Mama's unconventional care after being placed on probation. This narrative twist injected a dose of realism into the sitcom's comedic fabric, highlighting the show's willingness to explore both humor and heart. In the annals of television history, Mama's family remains an enigma, leaving fans to ponder the fates of its characters and the intriguing age dynamics of its cast. As the show defied conventions and embraced its quirky narrative choices, it secured a lasting place in the realm of timeless sitcoms. As we bid adieu to this journey down memory lane, we're reminded that shows like Mama's Family are more than just entertainment. They are threads woven into the tapestry of our lives. This beloved 1983 TV series tugs at heartstrings and tickles funny bones in a way that's uniquely its own. It's not just a show, it's a cherished chapter in the book of nostalgia. Perhaps it was the quirky escapades of the Harper family that brought laughter into your living room, or maybe it was the relatable, endearing characters that made you feel like part of the clan. Whether it was Mama's witticisms, Vinton's mishaps, or the uproarious antics that unfolded under that humble roof, there's something about Mama's family that resonates on a personal level. Now, as the credits roll one last time, it's your turn to shine. Share with us your fondest moments, the scenes that made you chuckle till your sides hurt, or the lines that have become an integral part of your lexicon. Let's celebrate the joy this show has brought us and the connections it has forged across time and space. So, take a moment to reflect, to smile, and to connect with fellow fans who have also been touched by the Harper charm. Your memories and insights breathe life into the legacy of Mama's family, keeping it alive for generations to come. Thank you for joining us on this delightful expedition through the world of Mama's family. Your time and interest are treasured, just like the moments we've shared. Until we meet again, keep those memories close, and keep the laughter alive. Warmly, your name, your signature.